All right, guys, so month 31, week four, day two. Uh, we've got a general warm up followed by a one by 20 squat. Uh, large time under tension for that one by 20. Again, that's gonna be about two minutes time under tension. So take that into consideration when you guys are choosing weights for the kids. Um, something to think about, okay? So there is a Bulgarian split squat um, as accessory work following the, uh, the one by 20 squat. I want you guys to start to coach the accessory work based around what the kids need. Okay, so what I mean by that is you might have an extremely hamstring dominant lifter um, who lacks leg drive at the bottom of the deadlift or lacks leg drive uh, coming out of the squat um, and kind of ends up in a folded maybe good morning type position because that's where they're strongest. Um, if you have this type of lifter, maybe have them short step the Bulgarian split squat so you can work on more quad and leg drive. Um, if you have a lifter that's very quad dominant, tends to uh, push their knees forward inside of their squats, um, tends to have a, a more upright torso, uh, then push their legs further out, have them squat where, uh, doing the Bulgarian split squat where uh, their stance is wider and they're having to sit further back and tap into more of the hamstring and the posterior chain, okay? Um, tailor fit the stance on this movement, this unilateral movement here with the Bulgarian split squat to what your lifters specifically need. Now inside of the play portion of today, what you guys are gonna find is uh, some monostructural stuff. You're gonna see running and rowing, but you're also gonna see kettlebell swings and burpees mixed in. Uh, this is meant to be a steady state piece, so choose a, uh, a pace and a weight that your athletes can hit around 80 to 85% and just hold that steady pace through this workout. That is month 31, week four, day two.